you can overcome this. You can fight. You are strong and intelligent and capable and there's nothing that you can't do including overcoming all of these symptoms of this illness now i'm not going to promise you that this illness is going to go away because it it won't if you're depressed and you don't want to get out of bed get out of bed get out of bed anyway get into the shower make your bed go for a walk read a book hug a friend if you're feeling anxious sit down anything that's going on around you is not so pressing that you can't tap out for five minutes take some deep breaths relax bring yourself back to your center and then re-engage the situation and understand that there's nothing so scary out there that it's going to cause you the kind of harm that should be inducing that kind of panic. Have a little more faith in yourself. And maybe you're thinking that's, you know, it's so easy for you to say, Nick. Is it? it what? Is it, I don't, I don't know better. Well, when I was 14 years old, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. So I, I do know what it's like. And I know what it's like to spend the better half of my adolescence storming around like this world owed me something like I had been screwed when God dealt the cards like I got the short end of the stick so you owed me and you owed me and you owed me something because none of you had to go through what I was going through you know it, it wasn't fair I would tell my family it wasn't fair I would tell my friends it wasn't fair I would tell myself that in the mirror every day. But you know what wasn't fair? My poor attitude wasn't fair to my family who loved me. It wasn't fair to my friends who believed in me and supported me even when I was going through tough times. And it wasn't fair to myself because I was the only one selling myself short. So I'm not gonna bring the chips to your pity party because you've decided that it's that it's not fair and maybe it's easier to feel you know hindered or disabled in some way and yeah it's true i don't know your struggle specific to you but i know mine and i know that my life took a serious turn for the better when i stopped looking at my illness as a hindrance or as a curse and started looking at it as a challenge bipolar disorder. That means I experience to an extreme all of the emotions that are encompassed within the two poles. You have your, your manic highs and your depressive lows. So it became a challenge. If I was depressed, how could I make myself happy? If I was too up, how could I calm myself down? I wasn't going to be that crazy loser anymore that I told myself for so many years that I was. And I don't want you to tell yourself you're some crazy loser because you're a winner and you've just been dealt a different hand and yeah maybe you feel like the joker but you know what you're the king or queen of your own destiny and how you play those hands that's what makes you a winner and folding that's what makes you a loser so yeah maybe you're depressed right the best bit of poetry this world will ever read. Paint a glorious picture that somebody will sit in front of for hours on end. You can do this. I believe in you. I love you guys. Be good. Take care of one another. And above all, remember, it's on us.